And let's start off with a sport that here at The Dose, we don't really talk about that much. But hey, tis the season, right? Because Mage, a 15 to 1 shot, crossed the finish line to win the 149th running of the Kentucky Derby at Churchill Downs on Saturday. Mage actually had to overtake two fills down the stretch to win the first leg of the horse racing's triple crown. Mage covered the mile and a quarter under Hall of Fame jockey Javier Castellano, who snapped a 0 for 15 streak at the Derby. Now, Mage didn't actually race as a two-year-old and had only one win in their previous three races So most people weren't really expecting that much from this young horse in a race that is not always kind to the horses that are inexperienced. You usually have to run a little bit to kind of know how to win that race. Still, he made that gutsy stretch run, overtook two fills to his inside, and won the race by a length. Two fills and four to one favorite Angel of Empire followed Mage to the finish line In front of a crowd of over 150,000 fans, it was a warm but cloudy day at Churchill Downs. Mage joins Justify back in 2018, Big Brown in 2008, and Regret in 2015 as Derby winners with just three previous starts. Going into that backstretch, Mage was ahead of just three horses. But Castellano and Mage began picking off the competition and launched their run down that front turn. But, as usual, the race itself wasn't actually the story when we talk about horse racing. Because, like we hear almost every year, Churchill Downs has opened an investigation after six horses have now died at the site of the Kentucky Derby just since April 27th. That's not very long ago. Wild on Ice had to be euthanized on April 27th after suffering an injury to his left hind leg while training at Churchill Downs. And according to the horse's owner, Frank Sumter, the three-year-old ran five furlongs before being pulled up by the jockey while galloping along on the backstretch. Wild on Ice made headlines when they had to euthanize the horse because of the derby coming so quickly. But now, it has been discovered that three other horses had died in the lead-up up to the race as well. Take Charge Brian was hurt while competing in a turf race last week on Tuesday. Had to be euthanized. The two other horses that died were Chasing Artie and Parents Pride, who died last Thursday and last Saturday. Neither of them was euthanized. Instead, they both collapsed and died after racing at Churchill Downs. But wait... There's more. It gets worse because two more horses died in races at Churchill Downs again on Saturday, making it seven total horses in recent days. And do not forget that Kentucky Derby favorite Forte was actually scratched with an injury in another series of blows to a sport that is really struggling lately. Because there are so many suspensions, there is so much dirty play going on. Chloe's Dream, a three-year-old gelding, and Freezing Point, a three-year-old colt, were injured in their races on the Derby undercard and became, like I said, the sixth and seventh horses to have died at Churchill Downs in just like the past week. It's a very difficult subject to touch upon, said Ramiro Restrepo, part of the ownership group for Kentucky Derby winner Mage, and a bloodstock agent. I'm sure there's going to be some investigations done as to the reason behind these deaths, and hopefully they provide a few more answers. That is a statement that was issued on Saturday night, and Churchill Downs Incorporated has said there have been no discernible patterns detected in the injuries that have been sustained at our racetrack. But doesn't it seem like every year we're hearing these similar stories as horse racing starts to get like more attention in the world media. Every year at this time, horse racing kind of comes to the front, nothing else to do, and we start hearing, yeah, this horse died, and this horse died, and this horse died. Remember, we had a ton of horses dying at the Santa Anita racetrack just a few years back. And when I say a ton, I mean like 30 of them. And now, here we are again, they're dropping like flies at Churchill Downs, one of the most well-known racetracks in the world. And every 
every year, like we just heard from Churchill Downs Incorporated, everyone is baffled. Everyone is shocked. Everyone is surprised. They're confused. Why are these horses dying? I don't understand what's going on. We're trying to figure it out, but we can't figure it out. Why do horses in horse racing keep dying? Well, I'm just a hick from Broomfield, Colorado. But allow me to solve this little mystery that has everyone so baffled. Here's the big problem. Here's the hardest part about all of this. Horses can't talk. If they could, they would be telling us some things. Some things like, here's what a horse might say. So I was getting ready for my race, right? And one of my trainers comes up to my pen, walks up to me, and shoots a giant syringe of cocaine right into my heart. And my eyes like bulged out. My mane stood on end. And I was running like I have never run before. I was winning. I was flying. It felt so easy. I honestly, I felt like a firecracker had been stuffed into my nether regions. But then, as I turned the final corner, I began to like get some numbness down my front left leg. And I kept turning and asking my jockey, can you smell toast? Because I can smell toast. He didn't care. He just kept whipping me. And then everything went black. Hey, this isn't a mystery, kids. These horses are being killed in the name of racing and in the name of earning money. And it's sad. And nothing's ever going to be done about it. Because, like I said, horses can't talk. But I will say this. If they could, we would be getting some horror stories from these racetracks. And it would no longer be a big mystery. Because they would be telling us exactly what was really going on. Okay, YouTube, be sure that you go over and you check out the rest of the podcast because this week on The Daily Dose, we're actually taking a look at a few of the pretenders and a few of the contenders in Major League Baseball this season. Those aren't always easy to sort out. And we are talking some NBA playoffs. We have some more sports news. Might have heard a big announcement in college basketball over the weekend. And we have a college sports program that has got some really bad things going on. Plus, we do have a Daily Dose Top 5 for you today. Of course, everybody knows about the top finishers in the Kentucky Derby. But what about those horses that didn't finish up top? Might want to tune in and check out the rest of the podcast. Be sure you go over and you check it out. I will leave a link here in the comments on YouTube for you. I will see you all next Wednesday. Hope you all have a great week.